Oh, absolutely love it. But let's stay here on the continent. And I think it might be a bit of a cliche, but it really does ring true. There is no better investment in the future of our country than nurturing the youth that are going to shape the direction that our continent goes in. So the 30 under 30 entrepreneurs that are proving to be an integral part of this were recently named by Forbes Africa. And Tenji sat down with journalist Ansela Mangena to find out more about their stellar achievements. When it comes to innovation, Africa continues to grow and take its rightful place on the world stage. And part of that is because of the wonderful work that young people do when fearlessly pursuing their dreams, especially when it comes to business. And each year we get to celebrate their achievements in the Forbes 30 Under 30 list. Ansela, you are the journalist in charge of bringing us and profiling these amazing young people on the continent. But let's take a step back for a second and understand what exactly is the Forbes 30 under 30 list and what kind of criteria do you look at when determining your candidates? So the Forbes Africa 30 under 30 list is about profiling 30 of the most promising entrepreneurs that the continent has to offer. So we look for people, first and foremost, obviously they have to be under the age of 30, who have been running a business for two years or longer because it's easier to, to register a company that do you have the energy and the zeal enough to go all the way. So that's why we look for people who've been in business for two years. I think it's quite significant that you are commemorating these young people during what is South Africa's youth month and thinking about the youth of 1976 and contrasting them to the youth of today it's quite a very different picture um, what are you hoping to achieve in celebrating these young minds and how do you hope that they're going to use their achievements going forward so I'm very happy that you mentioned the youth of 1976, as I always say when I talk about the list, as the youth of 1976 fought for our political freedom, the youth of today, we should be fighting for our economical freedom. And this is exactly what the list talks to, and this is exactly what those 30 people are trying to do in their own way, in their own industries. So they go out there and inspire other people by us telling their stories, of which most of the stories are from nothing. For example, there's Night Ganjo was one of my favorites on the list. He started a business. He has only one year of high school education. He used to live in a tuck shop. And today he runs a company that is turning over $38 million. You've had a lot of personal contact with the people that you're dealing with. You speak to their clients, the people who fund them. So you must know them quite personally. From your experiences, what are the lessons that stick out in each one of their stories and why are they significant to their success? Necessity is the mother of all invention. It is so true. All the businesses that are profiled in this year's Forbes Africa 30 under 30 list started because of some sort of necessity. So look out there and see what kind of opportunities are there. If you have a problem with it, make money out of it. So if, if you see that a certain service is not being uh, uh, dealt with or given the way it should be, that's the founder or founding stages of a business. So ex that's exactly what they do. They don't wait. They go out there, they do what they need to do. They see an opportunity, they run with it. You're so passionate about these young achievers but you yourself are a star in the journalism world you have a couple of awards under your belt including most recently CNN's top young African journalist in Africa congratulations for that and we see all the great work that you're doing but what do these accolades mean to you and how are you hoping to use your career going forward to effect some kind of positive change in the world so um, I'm hoping to encourage other young people through the stories that I, I write to follow their purpose and to find out what they were born to do. And because if you're able to do that, then you'll thrive in whatever industry that you're in because you're not emulating someone, but you're doing what you were meant to do on this earth. So I would imagine at this point you're quite intimately acquainted with what's working in Africa and what we need going forward. But what would you say we as youth need to give our continent and Africa to make sure that we're prosperous? in years to come. The most important thing is for people to just wake up and start doing something because we have this huge mentality of going to university and finding employment. Instead of trying to think outside of the box, what kind of uh, impact can I have with my skills better than being an employee? So first and foremost, we should start thinking about that. Stop being employees and start being founders and the creators of employment. For example, now Cape Town is in a drought, um, we've, got a st we've got storms, we've got uh, hunger issues, you know. So there's so many things that young people could be doing um, to help the continent grow, to help businesses grow and to contribute to the country's GDP. Well, it's clear that passion and excellence are abundant in Africa and it's only an honor for us to be able to celebrate these young minds who are doing what they can to change the course of our continent for the better.